csp community channel and welcome to the welcome back to the OSINT series uh, today we're going to be looking at yet another uh, OSINT tool and this tool goes by the name the inspector so best tool for information gathering all in one tool for information gathering so as you can probably tell this is another tool that you can use if you're trying to do OSINT um, if you're trying to do OSINT um, if you're practicing OSINT and you want to gather information regarding a website that you want to um, then you should probably go ahead and uh, get this tool so it's pretty easy uh, with, as with any tool you just go ahead and clone it download it over here you can download it from here I've already downloaded it and I have opened up a terminal in the folder the inspector and here we have a bunch of files so the file that we are interested in uh, is the Perl now the inspector file right sorry yeah there we go so this tool is written in Perl so make sure you have a Perl language installed because if you don't uh, this is probably not going to work and it's going to tell you that the command is not found sort of error right so you can go ahead and install Perl if you don't have it and so let's see what our options are so there these are our different options and well let's try the first one let's go ahead and dash i so website information i'll just go ahead and give it google.com and we'll see how it goes and well uh yeah there we go we got google.com visitors per day that many visitors well no wonder it's google so ip address uh linked ipv6 address uh ip reverse dns hosting company google host its own server why not uh, IP range from here to here now this is the uh, public IP range hosting address this is the address that they host they have hosted their servers phone and website CIDR hosting CIDR so if you want to gather some information some initial information about a website and where it might be located and what uh, IP it's assigned you can go ahead and do this let's look at another option what do we okay phone number information hmm let's see um, all right here we go Three. let's see how good it is actually at Finding phone numbers, gathering phone number information. Let's see if it works. Mm, this is taking a while. Um, checking the connection, enter phone number um, without a plus or a forward slash or zero zero. Hmm. Okay. So what if I did this? I'm not sure if it's going to be able to. Yeah, it should be able to get you information with just these numbers. Okay, it's not finding the phone number. Okay, guys. So I tried it with a couple of different uh, phone numbers but it doesn't seem to be working for some reason but if you happen to have any phone number I mean do give it a try this is the format that you're going to be using so I'm not sure what's wrong uh, so let's go ahead and look some other stuff up um, so find IP address and email server alright let's do that uh, MX um, we'll just school.com There you go. Uh, domain name for MX record is google.com. So let's look at other option. 
as well um domain who is lookup so we'll do a who is lookup now so it's basically a bunch of tools just crammed into one and so it's like jack of all so you would go ahead and like use different tools in order to get like results of each module so in this the inspector you have like everything <coughs> sorry so we're going to be doing a who is lookup okay i i think there seems to be a bit of problem with my uh internet connection for a few for the past few days let me try that again so guys i'm not sure what's wrong actually <clears throat> to be quite honest because um it doesn't seem to work with this with the w the who's lookup um i'm not getting the results and if i go ahead and try and do a location lookup with the dash l flag so and it gives me the information so I mean I don't know I am not sure what this is but hey if you like you can go ahead and do that and let me know if that works for you um, what other flags do we have over here um, let's see okay we did a website location and we have a Cloudflare one, so we're gonna have to see if any of the website is using a Cloudflare in the first place. So I'm, I think Amazon uses Cloudflare. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. It does use Cloudflare. There's a problem, and okay. All right. So this is kind of. But I'm pretty sure Amazon uses Cloudflare. Let me go ahead and second check. Amazon.com. So I think I can browse well, pretty well. But doesn't seem to be working when I actually am using the command line. Not sure what this is all about. Okay, all right. And that's not going to work. So certain options are working for me and certain options are not. All right, that was a weird message that popped up. Let me go ahead and do that again. Okay, the IP has changed, so I guess it's going to work now. Nope. <laughs> I think the internet is not with us today. So, what else do we have over here? Domain A checker. All right, let's see if this works. Google.com, probably the easiest one. Okay, domain created on 1997. It's 22 years and six months old. All right, that works. Amazon.com. So Amazon was 25 years old. All right. What else? Check active service on resources. Um, user agent info. So like you can give it like enter your user agent info, like what browser you're using, and you can do that. And check active services on resources. All right, let's go ahead and check for active services. Let's do Google. What's the IP for Google again? Ping Google.com 21658 2838. Let me go ahead and copy that. All right. Okay. All right, uh, IP. 
so I've already extracted Google's IP so I'll just give it that alright it's a simple uh, I guess nmap scan right kind of like an nmap scan so it just checks for every port like the important ones I guess not every so you get the point what this is so I'm just gonna stop it so this is a simple nmap scan is basically what it is so what else do we have over here um credit card bin checker so you can give your credit card number over here and it gives you some information about it subdomain scanner okay let's go ahead and do that so that's probably like a domain brute force right subdomain checker let's go ahead and google.com yeah that's what this is is a simple subdomain brute forcing let's see what else do we have over here email address checker um, you it will probably tell you if the email address is valid or not content management system checker all right just gonna tell you what CMS the website is using so I don't think Amazon uses a CMS but let's see all right so I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the internet or if there's something wrong so that be it for this video um, sorry my apologies for the bad internet connection or something that I'm not sure what's going on but you get the point uh, this is what this tool is and it basically is a all-in-one tool where you can just have you have around 13 options so you can gather a lot of information through this and well uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I apologize again for uh, for some of the options to not be running. I'll make sure to add this uh, in the coming upcoming videos These different options and I'll see what's uh, wrong with these. So yeah, that'd be it for this video I uh, hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like and do subscribe to the channel And if you have any suggestions do comment them down below that'd be it for this video